day everyone. We will now proceed to Berna Gadasan 2. The terminologies start up or login form and the graphical user interface. First, the, the additional one, the industry setting. With six terminologies, uh, you need to be familiar with the P6 terminologies before we proceed to the graphical user interface. Before we proceed to utilize the software, you need to familiarize with some terminologies. So, for creating the schedule of the project. Okay. Next one, uh, the terminologies we need to learn. Uh, EPS or the Enterprise Project Structure, PS Organizational Breakdown Structure, WBS Work Breakdown Structure, EBTs, the calendars, the predecessor, successor, relationships, critical path, the total flow, the free float, the constraints and lag, and the resources. Okay, let's proceed to the EPS. The EPS or the Enterprise Project Structure forms the hierarchical structure of the database of the project. Uh, for example, you have a project in housing, you have a project in the land development, you have the project in bridge, you have the project in uh, Power plant. This one we call. We will set up this one in the EPS or the Enterprise Project Structure. Then the Organizational Breakdown Structure or the OBS is the global hierarchy that represents the manager responsible for the project in the enterprise. The OBS is usually affects the management structure of your organization. And top level personnel down to the various levels on speed shooting in your businesses. For example, the uh, organizational chart of your company from president, COO, then the area manager, the project manager, the project engineer, and so on and so forth. Uh, that's why, uh, for example, there are area manager for the project of power plant, housing, bridges, and land development. This one is the organizational breakdown structure. Then, the next one is the work breakdown structure. Is the structure in levels of work. Detail, work detail beginning with the deliverable itself and is then separated into identifiable work elements. The major works, for example, for us we have uh, land development works, the housing, and then other one is the mm, housing will be the. the there are earthworks, electrical works, architectural work, planning electrical, and land development. There are uh, say preparation, road works, drainage work, sewer lines, and site development or uh, sewage treatment plant. This one, that are the examples of the WBS, and we will be enlightened for that. We are we are creating the new project schedule. Next one is the PDT are the fundamental work element of project. They are the lowest level of a work breakdown structure, and as such, are the smallest subdivision of a project that are that directly concerns the project manager. Example: uh, This one is the lowest level of WBS or the work breakdown structure. For example, if we have a WBS in a category earthworks, one will be more detailed or 
the lowest level of activities is uh, excavation, peeling, rubble bedding. Then for the structural works, lowest level of activity, the activities will be uh, fabrication, uh, former fabrication, steel fabrication, steel installation, form pouring, etc. etc. These are the activities are the fundamental work elements of the project. Okay, next one. Calendars are used to model the working time for each activity in the project. You can also specify national holidays, the organization's holidays, project specific non-work specific work non-work days and research vacation days. There are three types of the activities, the global calendar, the project calendar, and the resource calendar. Global calendar may be assigned to activities that are in any project. Project calendar is a calendar specific for the project and the resource calendar. Uh, for example, uh, there are resources with special skills. You can assign this resource calendar. Next one are relationships. It defines how an activity relates to start or finish of another activity or assignment. Other relationships between activities to create a path through your schedule from the first activity to the last activity. This relationship which form the logic of the project network are used together with activity durations to determine schedule dates. An activity can have as many relationships as necessary to model the work that must be done. You can also identify relationships between activities that are in different projects. This type of relationship is referred to as external relationship. There are four types of relationship, the finish to start, finish to finish, start to start, and start to finish. Uh, we will elaborate that as we go on to our tutorial. The predecessor, an activity that must occur before another activity. A predecessor activity controls the start or finish of its successor. The activity can have multiple predecessors, each with it with a different relationship. Then, a successor, an activity that must occur after another activity. Activity can have multiple successors, each with a different relationship. I hope you will get that meaning. If you are a planning engineer or a scheduler, this, you will be familiar with this one, predecessor or, or and successor. The critical part is the chain of activities that takes the longest time to accomplish. A delay to an, any activity in chain will delay the end date of the project. The total float. Total float is the amount of time an activity may be delayed without extending the project end date. Preload is the amount of time an activity may be delayed without delaying another activity. And constraints. Network logic alone cannot reflect all project, project situations. Sometimes activities must be accomplished according to specific dates rather than on dates determined by other activity the project. To model dependence on specific dates, assign primary and secondary constraints to activities. These one are the constraint type. Start constraints, finish constraints, mandatory constraints, and late constraints. Lag. An offset or delay from activity to each successor. Lag can be positive or negative and is, it is based on the calendar of the successor. Resources include 
the recreational and equipment that perform work on activity across all projects. Resources are generally reused between activities and or projects. The project management module also enables you to distinguish between labor, material, and non-labor resources. Labor and non-labor resources, resources are always time-based and material resources such as consumable items use a unit of measure you can specify. You can create and assign resources, resource calendars and define a resource rules, contact information and time varying prices. Okay, uh, that's it for the terminologies. Uh, I will elaborate that if I need it. Okay, let's just proceed to login form.